I'm Sammy Large. I'm from the Lincoln Church of the Resurrection in Sacramento, California. And grace and generosity has helped me out by whenever I struggle in school or anything else that I just pray to God and I know he has a plan for me. And like I like to be generous by giving back to like the homeless and helping out. I'm Grace Parton from St. Olaf Lutheran Church in Garden Grove, California. I've seen uh, gratitude from when I go to my church, when I go to my school, church, and acolyte, they are so grateful. And that is really cool. Hi, my name is Emily Setzman, and I'm from Peace Lutheran Church in Peoria, Arizona. And I wanted to share today that I've actually um, seen a lot of God's grace and God's like gratitude in my life every day. And um, I actually, it's kind of a long story, but I actually suffered from a disorder called anorexia nervosa. And I'm trying to spread awareness through that and how through God's grace and through prayer and through everything that we can overcome a lot of difficulties in our lives. And I've been in recovery for about six months now and I'm really doing well and by the generosity of others and the help that they've given me I've been able to achieve different things and live my life to the fullest and yeah. Thank you. And I'm Abby Hicks and we're both from Hope Lutheran Church in Fresno, California. My what grace or a time in my life when grace was shown to me was when I first started coming to my current church like I wasn't just like there like everyone like was really welcoming and just welcomed me with open arms and I just really felt grace and God's presence in that time in my life. A time in my life when I was shown grace was when I was at a church camp with my current church and I was having a rough week and my counselor sat down with me and talked about God's grace. And she talked about how he'll always be there for me no matter what I do. Hello, my name is Christian Marhinke. I am from Fresno, California with Hope Lutheran Church. And I came under the opportunity to uh, talk to my friend really personally. Uh, eighth grade year, he pulled me aside from my friends and said, Christian, I am really ready to commit suicide right now. And I looked at him and I knew exactly what to say to him. All I told him was how much I enjoyed him being in my life. All I did was tell him how much God enjoys him in his presence. And he took it and he ran with it. To this day, he is the happiest person I've ever met in my entire life. And I remember at the end of this year, he came up to me and thanked me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Desiree Summer Cousineau and I'm from Trinity Lutheran Church from in Hawthorne, California. And what grace is to me is God's love because without God's love I think I wouldn't have anything I would anything ever and I think I wouldn't be loved the way I am now. I have amazing people that I have around. I have my friends, I have my family. And probably people already said this but without God oh I uh, uh oh <laughs> um technically without God I think I wouldn't be able to accomplish my dreams. They may be small at the moment but they're big to me and yeah. Technically, I, I tell him, I talk to him as if he was my best friend, and I tell him, can you help me with all the stuff I need to help out? And I also pray for other people because they need it as much as I do. And that's what his grace means to me. My name is Ainsley Berryhill, and I'm here with Hope Lutheran Church from Fresno, California. Um, I just wanted to share that over the past year, I got the opportunity to do a project that made a large impact in my community, and we benefited foster care kids as they aged out of the system. Um, they're left with very little and they get an apartment and basic furniture and so we were just able to help them with basic necessities as they moved out and started life on their own. And I just wanted to share that from this project I learned a lot about what's, once you start looking for issues in your community and paying attention to things that are in your life and the people in your life, there are issues everywhere and as long as you just find these issues like even like we were three my me and my two friends were just three high schoolers and we were able to make a difference and help these kids as they start their lives so I just I just thought it was really amazing to see how we could help with these issues and also just to see the generosity of people when when you ask them you tell them about this cause and just and how they can help and how generous people are when they see that you're trying to make a difference and how willing they are to help. And I thought that was really amazing to see. And I'm 
very grateful for that experience and I learned a lot. So. Hi, I'm Sheldon Kaczynski from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Woo! And I go to Fellowship Lutheran Church. Yes, and I need um, Today I'm going to talk about gratitude because I'm so grateful for this world that I live in and one thing that God has particularly given me that I'm grateful for is we have this thing at my school called Eagles for Christ and I am lucky enough to be the president of Eagles for Christ because Eagle is our mascot and so I get to do that every Friday with all these kids and I'm very grateful for all of them because all these kids come up and speak about their testimonies and how God has shown up in their lives and it's been so meaningful to me and I just get to see how they are grateful for God and everything. Okay. Hi, my name is Chantel Augustine and I'm from St. Mark's Lutheran Church in Los Angeles. So when I started school, well middle school, um, I've been bullied a lot and at some point I didn't know where like where to turn to like I didn't know if I had any real friends because my friends would run off and I didn't have like a person to truly trust at that moment and I didn't know how to come to my family members because it's too hard to tell and it's kind of like an embarrassing thing to tell your parent oh I'm getting bullied and then it goes to administration and then the administration never does anything because it's a public school and we're in Los Angeles we don't really talk about those things especially if you're in a community like mine where there's low income there's um, people of color it's not emphasized that much because it's not something we talk about so I found grace within my congregation. I found grace when I come to um, what, like gatherings like this, like the Western States Youth Gathering. I was about, I was in high school, and I came to the Western States in 2014. And I wasn't really getting bullied at the time, but I still felt like I had almost no faith. So I came to this gathering and to learn mostly about community and basically what has God provided to show us that he has grace and he has given us grace so that we can have faith to move forward in life and that's why I'm here now because I believe at this gathering dream big God is giving us dreams which gives us grace and faith to keep going to our ultimate goal, our ultimate dream, to be where God has called us to be. So that's how I feel about grace. Grace is given to us, so when we have no faith, we still have, God gives us that faith to move on, to move forward to a different life, to move forward to a bigger dream, to move forward from whatever obstacle, twist, or turns that come your way.